so this song is called Pele Dimali, and it's dedicated to the Swazi teachers. There's no formal arts curriculum in Swaziland, so there's a desperate need to create a formal structure where we can introduce arts into schools. The fact that the arts are not in the curriculum do contribute to how seriously we as Swazi artists are taken and it actually makes our work to reach the top so much harder. Arts and culture has been a sleeping child in the past. A creative industry is waiting to be born in Swaziland. Yeah, we've got to do art the Swazi way. Art helps me to be strong in my identity. If I can share that with young people, I've done my job. It's about the heart. I think we all have things we need to express. It has that power. There's nothing that gives you the taste of creativity. Nothing else. Art is somewhere you can escape to, you know? It's something you can do. If you learn from an early age that whatever art it is, you can do it, then you need to have like the opportunity to like go after your dream. So with the idea of developing curriculum here and uh, helping to guide teachers, I think anywhere in the world, teacher training is such an important thing. We have a series of workshops where teachers are capacitated in different art codes. As a teacher, this school's festival has inspired me a lot, especially in the classroom. We need this Bushfire Schools Festival, because I think that's like the first step taking the arts to the people. I was amazed that Bushfire makes a conscious effort to bring Swaziland school children into an international festival space. Uh, the schools get to interact with people that sometimes they don't even think they would meet. The school's festival is awesome. That's what I can say, it's fantastic. I loved it. Oh, I just love everything because I like African dance, I like drama, acting, poetry. I just love everything. <laughs> Uh, the Bushfire Schools Festival has been able to do is synthesize our focus and get people into a room. It was a, an historic occasion. The meeting at the MTN headquarters, it was a historic meeting. It was the first of its kind to take place in Swaziland. You know, when we had everybody in the room and, and realized that uh, the various stakeholders all have a role to play in this grand design of a of a national arts curriculum, there was a sense that we could achieve this. When you talk about enabling environments, we, we refer to legislations, resources, infrastructure, and what have you. It must be accorded the same status as other subject areas. Trying to give children and young people access to the highest quality arts education that we can give. The ultimate goal here is to change the perception of the artists themselves from mere entertainers into professionals. I'm happy to see us making a move in the right direction. This is going to be a long process, uh, but I think we've been able to initiate uh, this wonderful journey together and uh, very exciting. Wow, you know? That is initiative. Yeah, it's so exciting because the Swazi people, they are getting something that can make Swazi people recognized by the world. I, I think it's a good thing. It's, 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 a, it's a way forward. It's a step forward. One of these days, we will be able to see ourselves on television, see ourselves on newspapers, and see ourselves becoming the artists that we aspire to be. I love music. Acting. Theatre, showing poetry. I love dancing. We 